Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's story time once again, and we're about ready to get started. Okay, so what do you want in your story tonight? Zombie tomatoes. Z zombie tomatoes? Yep. You wanted, what, man eating sandwiches last time? Now you want zombie tomatoes. Okay. And what do you want? People with rockets? Like rocket launchers? Oh boy. Okay, I got one. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Once upon a time, in a place not very far from wherever you're sitting right now, lived a young man. He was about 12 years old. This young man's name was Mike. And Mike had a fantastic time playing with his friends and family. But he had to go to school. He hated going to school. It was horrible. But one day when he was at school, he was in the lunch line. Waiting, waiting. Waiting. It finally is his turn. He was so excited. It was pizza day. So he was so excited to get pizza because he, that was his favorite, favorite meal at school. So he got up there, but all the pizza was gone. The kid in front of him, Billy, took the last piece. Darn you, Billy. He stole the last piece. And all that was left was a bunch of tomatoes. So he got himself a nice fresh tomato. Well, sort of. He was slightly old. So he went back and sat, and that's all he had to eat. He was so upset. He, oh, man. All he got is his tomato to eat. And he stared at the tomato. And to his horror, the tomato stared back. It had eyes! And it said in a low whisper, Brains! Billy smashed the tomato with his hand as quick as possible, splattering juice all over the place. He said, Oh, well, that tomato's gone. But then he looked over at the lunch lady, and she was gone. got up and he looked around and all the students were suddenly gone. He was alone. All alone in the cafeteria. cafeteria. And worst of all, he was hearing the, a squishy sound. Juice. Yeah. He, could, he didn't know where it was coming from. So he snuck over to the kitchen quietly, peeked over the counter, and saw the army of zombie tomatoes standing there, looking up at him. He looked back at them. He looked up at them. They said, Brains! Brains! Lots of brains for us to eat! So they jumped up after him. He quickly ran as fast as he could, dodging between the chairs, making his way out as the zombie horde poured out of the kitchen, more than you can count, quickly chasing him down the halls. He ducked into his school, into his schoolroom and shut the door. The tomato slammed one at a time against the door. Thump, 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 thump. Thump, thump. And he thought, oh, they can't get in the door, they're too teeny tiny. Oh, I'm safe in here. He looked at the bottom of the door. Oh, nope, they, nope, they can't squeeze under there. They'll be squeezed into juice before they get here. So we're safe. Finally safe. But then he heard it. Boom! 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 
He opened the door slowly. <coughs> Looked out down the hallway. And there was a giant tomato. As big as any adult. He just slowly shut the door. <coughs> Locked it. And jumped out the window! <laughs> Landing in the grass. Ah. Getting up, he sprinted all the way home. Ah. <laughs> but there were no cars on the road or people on the streets. There were only more zombie tomatoes. They started chasing him. A large horde behind him. He looked behind him, there was the giant tomato. Boom, boom. Come back here! You have brain! Boom, 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 boom. He chased him all the way home. He slammed the door. God, I don't know what to do. Mom! Dad! He opened the door. And his mother and father were gone! The only thing that was left was a can of tomato juice. He closed the kitchen door as quick as possible. He said, I don't know what to do! What am I supposed to do? Giant tomato outside! Can of tomato juice in kitchen where parents should be! What am I supposed to do? He went, to, he went into the kitchen, went to the cupboard and found something. Something he liked very, 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 very much. So not long after he found it, the big tomato slammed through the front door. Boom! Went after the kids. Went after the kid, going to eat him, devour his very body. Just then, the kid turned around and said, Hello to my little friend! He had a rocket launcher and fired, and the tomato juice went everywhere! Splash! And then he reloaded, and there were more tomatoes! So he kept shooting them, blowing them up! And then the last tomato came up, and he ran out of ammo! The last tomato looked at him and spoke in his mother's voice. Honey, it's time to wake up! You need to get ready for school! He wakes up. And he woke up! And he sat there. Mom, is that you or is that an evil tomato trying to eat my brain? It's me, honey! Get ready to go! That's what an evil tomato will go! Say! Say, if you don't get down here, I'm gonna get out and come up there and get you! And you don't want that now, do you? I said, no, 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 no. No, no. Mom comes over, she's gonna kick my butt. She's gonna kick my butt from here to Kingdom Come. That's my mom. Okay. So he got up. And walked and took a shower and got ready for school. But beneath his bed, the last zombie tomato remained, waiting for him to come back. The end. So, how do you guys like that story? Is that a good one, a bad one, mm -hmm. horrible? Mm -hmm. One thumbs up. Oh, fantastic! Five hundred. Thank you guys so much. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Bye.